Марис Лукис, Рукс. Нет. Рига Латвия. Silence, silence, truth, antisemitism and its genesis in student uh, fraternities in Latvia. Вы сможете уложиться? Не, надо не стараться, а нужно уложиться, потому что иначе я буду вот это показывать. Then, ladies and gentlemen, I would like to allow me to introduce you to some part of Latvian academical society uh, and quite influential still today. In 1882, two months after the very first anti-Semitic publication on the reasons of persecution of the Jews is published in the Latvian language in text and periodicals, the first Latvian student fraternity, Letonia, is officially founded. The founder of this fraternity and author of this anti-Semitic uh, Semitic publication is one and the same person, Janis Sanders. Together with like-minded individuals, in 1882, he registers an organization that since 1935 is the sole lifetime brotherhood, teacher and wealth out Chaung, Melder for Viktor's Arais and many other Holocaust implementers and supporters in Latvia. In magazine Sanders writes, I quote, Jews are for their fellow men unbearable evil. And here the author analyzes the business relations and mutual aid among Jews, emphasizing that, I quote, it's not possible to go to war with Jews by use of legal means, end quote. Furthermore, Jakob Slautenbach's editor-in-chief of Pagam's magazine, which publishes the piece, is also from the same lifetime organization, significant in the context of the Holocaust, the Letonia Fraternity. Uh, here, this man is a center of fraternity after the Second World War. It bears noting that in the same time period, no anti-Semitism is noted in the Baltic provinces on the Russian Empire, particularly in Latvia and Estonia. And the leaders during the time of the Latvian National Awakening, uh, for example, Christian Svaldemars, well, were, were using the press to encourage people to learn from the Jews and to cooperate with them. Student fraternities in Latvia are a specific organizational type, playing a significant and tragic role in carrying out the Holocaust in Latvia. Fraternity Letonia was founded in Tartu and arrives in Riga along with the foundation of an independent state and immediately in 1919 exposes strict anti-Semitism. The organization protocol states that Letonia does not wish to take part in the opening of the newly founded university and student government along with Jewish students. I quote, the issue of taking part together with the student office remains open in light of the Jews hue of the student office. In everyday life also various incidents occur. The memoirs of Latvian fraternity brothers tell us of the autumn 1922 in Riga, noting public calls made by brothers in Russian language, Bejidovs Pasai Latviju. I quote, trash the Jews and save Latviju. Latvia. By considered on uh, on one such occasion, there was a diplomat from the Soviet embassy nearby who asked that the police cement leading to the arrest those, these students. At the same time, Jews also had various student fraternities. There was, however, one important difference. The Jewish fraternities were not only not recognized as equal as, to those the Latvian, German, Russian ones, they were never accepted into the umbrella organization of the fraternities of the University of Latvia, PK, or Presidium Convent. Furthermore, they were openly barred from using the colors of the organizations. The lobby of the Latvian fraternities managed to pass a measure that for openly bearing their badges, these Jewish students' organization would have to pay fine or could even be shut down. In Latvia, Jewish students were not considered equal uh, but were called savages, lesser humans, just like you or me, just like all the rest of society outside the env environment of the PK fraternities. 
1935, after the foundation of authoritarian regime of President Carlos Ullmanis, PK fraternities were fa forced to silence their anti-Semitism because Ullmanis did not favor the Latvian student fraternities. Nevertheless, on March 14, 1939, the PK, or Presidium Convent, the umbrella organization of all Latvian fraternities, the main governing body, the parliament, so to say, begins reviewing the submission in the matter of students of Jewish identity. The submission requires assessment and opinion with regards thereto to all Latvian student fraternities. The submission states that the Jewish population of Latvia is approximately 5% of the total population of Latvia. But Jewish students at the University of Latvia is approximately 6.4%. Uh, at some faculty, 30%. For this reason, it is strongly proposed that the number of Jewish students should be limited so as to decrease the number of Jewish students total by 30 for, uh, 35%. It is also strictly demanded, I quote, Jewish students not, not be permitted to practice a Christian cadavers. In the subsequent Presidium Convent on 19 April 1939, the proposal was adopted. Judging by the minutes, in honestly and without any objections, all Latvian student fraternities accept this blatantly anti-Semitic manifesto. Dean Primanis is informed, therefore, Dean replies that with regard to this issue, the view of President Ullmanis must be sought out. Knowing Ullmanis' negative stance toward fraternities, also toward as the anti-Semitism of Lettonian politician Arvids Bergs and other similar manifestations, is, it is clear that Ullmanis will reject this anti-Semitic platform outright, outright, which he also does. However, anti-Semitism in its most poignant expression in the Latvian fraternities environment has manifested itself already shortly before the start of World War II. The organization Lettonia, founded in 1882, would later become the strongly lifetime brotherhood and educator also for international Holocaust criminals, Viktor Zaraes, Herbert Sukurs, Konstantin Skatis, Leonid Janssons, Boris Kinslers, and other direct participants and in the so-called RIS unit, RIS commando, you know this, as well as a series of other high-level collaborators with the Nazi regime in Latvia. It's important to emphasize here that the core of the RIS unit was formed directly from active members of Latvian student universities. Felix Dibetis of Vendia Fraternity helped develop the uni unit's military structure. The RIS unit and RIS close friends killed tens of thousands of unarmed people, Jews in Bityarneki, Rumbula, and other places. This man. Most of the very first hundred members of the RIS unit immediately after the Nazi occupation in 1941, uh, when the social propaganda machinery of Nazis had not yet been swing, uh, switched hard on, consisted by on fraternity buzz, uh, brothers. This except also Andrew Azergiles. However, he also expresses uh, the thought of, uh, that anti-Semitism persisted, but was no actively cultivated. This does not fit the facts, because fraternities, unlike the rest of Latvian society and various other lifelong organizations, cultivated an especially aggressive anti-Semitism. R.I.S. Heming already spent some years studying law at the University of Latvia, he joined the Latvian student fraternity Lettonia in 1935. On January 26, 1935, he responded to a question on a form asking, why do you wish to join Lettonia? With, I want real and, real and true friends and wish to develop my personality further. Before then, R.I.S. had not been a member in any organization of an anti-Semitic nature. Before then, the 24-year-old youth had not in the course of his life taken part in any criminal activities. On the contrary, a person without a father who was self-sufficient later began studying law, even joined the forces of law and ordered in the Latvian police during the parliamentary era. Already in the first days of July 1941, directly outside the Student Fraternity Lettonia building on Valdemar 55, Arais had a murder recruitment table on the street. It was from and in Lettonia's building, Arais unit first actions. And shortly after the mass murders committed in Rumbula at the end of 1940, 
1941, in February 1942, whole fraternity Lettonia organized a great celebration in the Lettonian fraternity building with special inv invitation of honorary guests, high-ranking high SD and Gestapo people. I draw your attention to the fact that Holocaust implementers and Nazi collaborators for among the Latvians who committed serious crimes both in Latvia and well outside of it were not some lowly misfits, but rather came directly from Latvian student fraternities and were supposedly academically educated people. Following the end of World War II, the German police looked for our eyes for years while he was living quietly under the false name. You will ask, didn't any? of the Latvian immigrants know Viktor Sarai's address and the fact that he was hiding under the different name, the answer is sad. Of course they did. Even more so, they organized parties with this mother. Murderer. Yes, the very same brothers from the Lettonia fraternity. Latvian student fraternities registered in our days in Riga are direct and interrupted can, can, continuing uh, of, the fraternities, uh, of the fraternities examined in relations to anti-Semitism and the Holocaust. However, although these educated members of fraternities are from various academic fields, including various historians, some strange things happen. Nowadays, at one time, Professor Andrew Azargiles, an internationally respected Holocaust researcher, was once a member of student fraternity Talavi. When the fraternity was renewed in Latvia in the early 1990s, he was ejected from the sizable fraternity forever. Uh, the harsh psychological manner of punishment in fraternities. This punishment for professor was for having collected materials and publishing data regarding the participation of fraternity brothers in the mass murders on the, on the Holocaust. On the other hand, hand already, in the 1992-93 academic year, Lettonia organized a literary evening for new students in Riga regarding events during the so-called German period, during the Nazi occupation. When members of the RIS unit from this fraternity, who were still alive, shared their memories, a highly respected Lettonian member in fraternity cycles, Leonid Janssons, expresses an aggressive anti-Semitic viewpoint and even bragged that in 1941 he burned the choral synagogue in Riga. Leonid Janssons often met youth at the Lettonian meeting and events and was highly respected among the youth generation up to his death in 2007 and still today. By contrast, when I numerous occasions offered to read a lecture on participation of Lettonians in the Holocaust, I unfortunately, uh, unfortunately received a curt rejection and even threats of physical reprisal. I hope, of course, withdraw from this organization, of course. Currently, new members of fraternities are being reared as if these Holocaust murders and other Nazi collaborators are basically honorable members. Such are the traditions of these fraternities, which poignantly manifest themselves even today, sometimes even hiding behind democratically adjusted rhetoric in case of need. We against Holocaust, maybe, if you ask him, then they told you. Uh, and, and this is a picture uh, from last year. Here, comes, uh, here goes by new students at the University of Latvia, and uh, here stays as a signboard with these fraternities to recruit every year, twice a year, or, or often new members. Yeah? Fraternities pass their own internal rules, which contravene uh, both the legislation of a democratic state as well as human rights, and furthermore, promote xenophobia and racial hatred. It's a separate broad theme term regarding dangerous tendencies that have no place in the modern world. Nevertheless, of great significance are history mem historical memory of Holocaust, remembrance and tireless work in maintaining the honors that are often reminding of it. This is a guarantee of true democracy and human rights. And thank you very much for your attention. Thank you very much. Okay. We still have five people in front, so we have to continue okay. and we will leave all questions at the end. Thank you. Just then write later them we down. Can discuss about it. Okay. Oops. But thank you, it was so interesting. Thank you.